Hello, welcome to Enduro with Ziga. I will show you how to provision a Linux virtual machine to talk to your Hogbit instance. To follow along, you will need a running Hogbit instance and a workspace we have built on Enduro image base before. You can get both by watching my previous videos and following the instructions there. Let's switch to the terminal. As before, we will be interacting with the build system. This requires configuring the running shell process for the specific build directory. Run this command in your terminal. It's the same command we've been using throughout the series. Next, boot the virtual machine with the image we've built earlier. Wait for the machine to boot to the login prompt, then log in as root. We will configure the Rogue Hogbit updater service inside our virtual machine. First, go to the Etsy Rogue Hogbit updater directory. It should be an empty directory inside the writable space of the device, even on the immutable images we're using. Next, copy the example configuration file, which is pre installed for convenience. The config file has to be named config.conf. Next, change the owner of the file to rogue hogbit. This is required due to privilege separation, as the service does not run as root. Now we'll have to make some changes to the file we've copied. Edit the file with vi. If you're not familiar with VI, then don't worry, I will help you with the required steps. You can use the arrow keys to move around. Since VI is a modal editor, you will have to enter the editing or insert mode before you can make any changes. Press the I key to switch the insert mode now. You can stay in this mode until the end of the process. We will have to change three variables. Those are called target, name, Authentication token and Hogbit server. First, set Hogbit server to the IP address of your host system. It is important to use the IP address that our Linux virtual machine can connect to. Typically, it will be the IP assigned to your computer by the network. Keep in mind to keep the port number that your Hogbit instance is running on. You can use the ipconfig windows utility or IP adder list. Linux command to find the right addresses. In my case, this is the right address. Next, set the target name to the controller ID of the target you have created earlier while using the Hogbit dashboard. In the previous video, I've used QMU x86-64-1, so I'll use that now. Lastly, set the out token to the security token automatically generated by Hogbit for our target. You can find it by clicking on the target in the dashboard and then clicking the panel below. To save the file, press the escape key to exit insert mode then type colon, w, q, and press enter. If your Hogbit instance is running, you should be able to start the updater service inside your virtual machine by running this command. You can check the status of the service with this command.
If the service does not start correctly, check for the error message printed by the service, look for any typos, and double check if device token authentication is enabled in the instance. Edit the settings and start the service again to iterate. You can now provision Linux targets to use Hogbit with device token authentication. Join me in the next video where I will show you how to work with modules, distributions, and how to upload bundles to Hogbit. Thanks for watching and see you soon.